Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And all the craziness of the Black Friday and Thunderstruck promo content on this game, we've got a new twist coming into this game today with brand new hero cards going to be dropped into packs today, but only for a certain number of people. We're going to cover that today when those are going to be dropping. We know the exact time that EA have said those are going to come out. And are we finally going to see the end of all the crazy supply of all these cards that are in packs? Will the lightning round slow down today and therefore start to make some of our investments rise? Other cards are already starting to rise in the market. There's a lot to cover today. If you can sign up for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content because Yesterday was one of the craziest days of content. I mean, we every single facet of the game, evolutions, objectives, SBCs, it was crazy yesterday. We got to start off with the evolution. The hero evo that we had talked about in last night's video was released. And it's just okay because it's a 75,000 coin unlock for a hero that you're going to be putting inside of this upgrade now it is pretty easy to do it's not very many games right uh that's the best part about it the upgrade though seems very suited for a midfielder right you get plus two shooting passing and then plus one dribbling and defending with a tiki taka playstyle and the press proven playstyle on level two this evolution is only 30 percent upvoted i'm pretty sure that i saw over 30 percent upvoted on footbin and actually, I kind of feel with that. Like, I am I feel with that because this Evo seems like it's fitted for a midfielder, like, hero card. If you have Park Ji Sung, this upgrade seems very worth it. With the play styles that you get, the upgrade that you get as well, he's one of the heroes that's not getting one of the new Champions League items. And he doesn't have any other versions of a hero card yet. Links to Hyunmin Sun, right? Links to maybe a Huan He Chan that you did in a previous Evo. This is, like, one of the cards to me that makes it worth it. But you're going to have to go and spend... 60k if you don't already have his card and on top of that 75,000 coins to unlock the evo so it is a bit of a coin sink but there are some good upgrades that you can find inside of here again like i said though it just seems to be formatted for midfielders like i don't know if a lot of people are putting robbie keen into this but like do you really care about your Robbie Keane having Tiki Taka and Press Proven? Maybe you do a little bit maybe it helps his card out he's already got good shooting and the technical play style so it's a good looking card there for the Robbie Keane upgrade, but I don't know. I just feel like this is worth the bang for your buck the most if you put a midfielder in there or somebody that at least you're going to end up using. But a lot of people are seeing that as 75,000 coins. That is too much to be putting into an evolution for a hero card that's just getting a plus two. And I feel that. I 100% feel that. Now let's go to objectives. We have a couple new things here. Watch out for the pro event today, the FC Pro Live. Remember the Twitch stream. We have to watch that to get packs right. And then there's going to be an Easter egg mystery nation that they're going to talk about on the stream. We're going to have to do a finesse shot, score three finesse shot goals to get a coin boost and an 82 times two. So it might actually be worth this is like them trying to get you to actually listen to the stream, but it's going to be tweeted out at some point. And people are going to know. So it's like, <laughs> go do three finish shots with this nation. So just wait for somebody to tweet it out today. And uh, we'll probably talk about it on stream as well. Maybe even mention it in tomorrow's video if you miss it. But we'll be uh, looking for that today. We also had a cup that was dropped yesterday on this game, which actually is worth doing because you get 1,000 XP for getting four wins. You get a 50K pack at the end. It's, an, it's a way to grind gameplay to get yourself some XP and some extra packs, which we all need at the moment to try to get fodder to do all these SPCs. Speaking of SPCs, I just had a duplicate 84, so we're going to take a pause in the action and do a one of three 85 plus rare gold players pick come up. I will take an 88. Come right into the club, Gurita, and that's going boom straight into the Mbappe SPC. I will take that. Now, speaking of SPCs, let's go there next because there was a lot of action there yesterday. Guys, yesterday's SPC content was unbelievable to be completely honest the 87 plus campaign mixed upgrade sbc um rttk trailblazer centurions and triple threat 87 and above so that takes out a lot of those cards on the lower tier they specifically required an 86 rated so 86 ratings did have a bit of a spike yesterday i don't know if all of them went up to like 14k but i saw a few like 14,000 coins, like 11k to like, okay, 12, I guess is all Dybala went to. But I think I saw like Mares went all the way to 14 or 15k when I was clicking through some of these graphs earlier. Yeah, so he, he had a rarity spike. But I mean, 86s only went up a little bit for this. 85s actually, with the SBCs that have been dropped recently, 85s are seeing the biggest rise. They were 6k, they're now 7,000 coins. But all this fodder, again, guys, is just going to slowly keep rising throughout the week. It's finally getting towards the end of all the crazy pack supply and the store lightning rounds and the saved up packs being opened. 
and we should finally start to see those prices. I know we've been saying that for like days now, but I truly believe that right now we have a lot of SBCs and a lot of demand and way, way less supply. But that was one of the SBCs that dropped yesterday that's making things move. And it's an SBC that a lot of people based off of the, the footbin votes, 69% upvoted, liked. Also the base hero player pick. I mean, wait a second. Look at the SBCs that we had dropped yesterday. 62% upvote, 69% upvote, 90, 74, and 93. Every single SBC yesterday had a above 50% upvote, above 60% upvote. That's crazy. That just tells you how actually kind of crazy of a day it was content-wise. Base hero player pick, this is kind of perfect because if you get somebody that you could put into the Evo and you want to do that, you could throw them in there. It's a one of two, and it is pretty cheap, 84, 85. Like, that is not bad. 100,000 coins for a chance at an uncapped base hero player pick. That's a GG. If that's something that you're really hunting, you can do it three times in the next couple of days. So, boom, another great SBC to try to crack craft right now and then ea dropped another flash player flashback sbc and man i mean these are kind of crazy first we had oscar now we have mangala who is a solid card four star weak foot medium high work rates this is a perfect starter sbc if like you're somebody who just got the game and you're looking to put a card in your club like this is literally again just an 82 rated squad it is so easy to do. That's a must do. And I got to get that done before it expires because that's a free 86 rated card. I have no problem with that. I don't see how you could have a problem with that at all. And then for the high rollers yesterday, we had an Icon SBC, Thunderstruck Icon Balak, who upgrades based off of Bayer Leverkusen, not Chelsea. Bayer Leverkusen is how he upgrades. And uh, what an upgrade for his card. What an item in general. What a dynamic image. And the price is pretty good too, 480k to craft this SBC. It's really only three squads, if you think about it, right? Of course, it's six squads, but you got the bronze, you got the silver, you got the gold. Then you have an 86 and 88 and an 87. Very easy to do. Very, very easy to do and get done. And Balak, I've heard in this year's game, plays very, very well. Could go to an 89 rated, of course, if Leverkusen are able to win three games in their next four. So... That's a W, honestly. That is a W card. It's Hullet Gang with really good shooting, passing, dribbling, great box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, I mean, you'd like a couple more play styles, right? But I guess if they win one game, which I don't know if they've already won a game or not. I didn't see Bayer Leverkusen result from the weekend, but um, he could already be getting a play style added to his card here pretty soon. Whenever they decide to do those Thunderstruck upgrades, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, we had one more Black Friday challenge yesterday, which was for a Mega Pack that was tradable. Finally, a decent challenge SBC. Uh, so that was pretty good. And then, of course, we had the mini release and some more cards added to packs with that. Soul Campbell, Hemp, Frimpong, Fakir, and Umtiti. Frimpong is crazy expensive. We're talking 500,000 coins for his right back card. We're talking Bayer Leverkusen again. Obviously, Balak upgrades for Bayer Leverkusen. This card is very rare, but he is very expensive. I don't think this card is justified by the 500k price tag. I almost think of the same thing about Alfonso Davies. I know they're both insanely cracked um, defenders, but they feel very, very expensive. So that's one that, again, just be careful. I think Hemp and Fakir are honestly overpriced as well. Fakir's like, I think, 300k, and Hemp is 155,000 coins. Just seems a bit overpriced to me, but they are very rare because they were only in packs for one day. And of course, uh, the other cards have been in packs. Like, look, Fakir only has three pages. This could be a card that does move a, a good amount today. Just keep it on his price because he is flat out rare. And he has the Travella playstyle, which is playstyle plus, which is pretty meta. Now, they keep dropping, of course, the lightning rounds and the packs that are in the store. They're going to continue to do that, guys, but I think it's going to slow down. And you can kind of tell by how they drop these lightning rounds, right? The Breakthrough Jumbo Ultimate Players Pack Plus, it's out for 3 hours, 45 minutes. All the lightning rounds that they were dropping on Friday and on Saturday, those are like 1 or 2 hour lightning rounds. And now they've got ones that are sitting out for a longer time. Um, the store is going to stay busy, right? I think I have a 30 coin pack maybe. Ooh, a 10 and a 30 coin pack. Come up. The store is going to stay busy for these next couple of days. Of course, people are going to be interested in doing the packs like this one, a 10 and 30 coin packs, and then also the other big packs that are in the store. Like, they're going to refresh and stuff like that throughout the next couple of days. But I think it's the lightning rounds and a lot of the big tradable packs are going to slow down. I think most people have probably spent what they were going to spend on FC points during the weekend. Like most people, not saying there won't be anybody, but there probably will be less people during the week doing that. And now the, the kind of the motivation on the game. Ooh, actually, this is a decent pull here. Pause. 
85? Summer? Is he 85 rated? From a 30 coin pack? 84 rated. I'm thinking last year of Summer. That's good. I will take 284s. Come up. All right. See? Nice, man. Those 30 coin packs, they're actually kind of nice. Uh, but what I'm saying is, we're going to talk about this a bit in the video, too. It just feels like the content is going to have to slow down a little bit this week. Not be bad, but slow down in the fact that we have had so much over the weekend. And there's just, like, how much more can they release? Like, the content and all the SBCs we have is bananas. I just don't know how it's going to go for the rest of this week. I feel like it's going to slow down a little bit. And I think that's actually going to end up being pretty good for the market. Now, let's talk Thunderstruck. Let's talk market really fast here as well because we have got more and more upgrades that are confirmed. This is a tracker uh, tweeted out by Sheriff and a lot of other guys. Morefoot is the website. I'll drop a link to this down below in the description. You can take a look and see if a player has got that plus one play style or maybe their first inform upgrade for the regular cards um, accrued based off of their win. I don't know how you get to the regular Thunderstruck cards. Let's go Thunderstruck. Maybe it just shows the icons. Uh, oh, here we go. Just had to scroll down a little bit further. Like, Neymar's going to a 91. Vinny's going to a 91. Diani's going to a 91. The question is, when are the upgrades going to be happening? That is the biggest question. And as of right now, we do not know. We're waiting for an official response from EA. I have still kept a lot of my Emre Chan cards. I have a few less than I did before, but I bought Emre Chan's last night for like 66K. His price ended up doing pretty well. It's still right around 71, 72,000 coins, which I'm very happy with because technically this card's going to be a 86 rated. Like he, he basically is 86 rated right now. He just hasn't got the upgrade yet. So I think a lot of people that are looking at these Thunderstruck cards, if the supply is going to be slowing down, I think a good amount of these cards have potential to rise during this week and even starting as soon as today, guys. But if I had to guess for an upgrade date for these, remember the old promo of Foot Fantasy? We mentioned it in yesterday's video because that's the promo that is like closest to what this Thunderstruck promo is in terms of the upgrades. The Foot Fantasy upgrades would come on Wednesdays if EA didn't mess them up. They would come on Wednesdays when a new team of the week was dropped. So I'm kind of thinking that that might be the same sort of scenario we see with these cards. We'll just have to see. We need some more confirmation from EA, but that would be my first guess is Wednesday for the Thunderstruck upgrades. But again, guys, I look at this promo team and I see cards that are probably going to rise. This is a live card promo. I mean, it's so much pack supply this very weekend. Guys, I think that if you see a low price for a card uh, like the Emre Chan that we're looking at, he's still pretty low. Cuadrado is down because uh, they did not win yesterday, so he's low. That's actually one of the cards I was able to pack. Uh, so far, I've packed Tierney and Quadrado. Tierney's going to go to an 86, by the way, because they won. Besides the point, though, if any of these cards that you're looking at that are getting upgrades, I would like to specify that. The cards that are getting upgrades, I think, will do the best. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, already gone from 160 all the way back up to 173,000 coins. 170 still feels pretty low to me. Like 170K, this could be a card that's 200,000 coins by the end of the week or, or next week with an upgrade and, and more potential upgrades incoming if Arsenal keep winning. And if we don't get like a Prem Striker SBC or something like that, right? That would be something that could hurt us card price. There's always risk with something like that. But I just feel like these cards, since they're alive, since they're relatively affordable, especially on the lower tier, I think there's a lot of potential here. I really do. And I think that you're going to see these cards rise into the week a little bit with the upgrades incoming, especially for a few of those cards. So I would focus on those. I like the lower tier the most. Uh, Jolinton, 37,000 coins. Like he's been very steady around that 35K mark. Yesterday, he was 40, went down to 33. Wow. I would even say that under 35K, that's going to be tough to get. But low 30s is pretty good for him just because that's a Brazilian linking card in the Premier League. Newcastle links as well. Like, I, I like this promo team, guys. They're live cards. Live cards almost always do very well out of packs because they're live and they're upgrading. So I'm keeping a close eye on those. I still have some Emery Chans, and we're hoping for a rise in price on those today. Now, let's get to more information in the title of this video today. The UCL Hero Cards. You're like, Nate, what are the UCL Hero Cards? Well, we talked about these a long time ago. Actually, you know what I want to see? Did they add the card design into the game yet? Are the UCL Heroes? They are. UEFA Heroes, men's and women's. The card design is here. It's finally time for these cards to be dropped in the game. But if you didn't pre-order the Ultimate Edition of this game, EAFC 24, you probably won't be getting one of these Hero Cards today. The people that are getting these cards, once again, 
on this game today are going to be people that pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition before August something or other, August 22nd or something it was, during the summer. If you pre-ordered before then, that was the cutoff to get your hero card. So there's going to be a lot of people getting heroes today. And these are the heroes that are going to be in the packs, right? And if you're like, is EA actually going to put these in packs? They've got the pack code ready to go. UCL Hero Pre-Order Pack, right? It's here. And it's dropping today. It's dropping at a weird time. We'll talk about it. But it's coming today on the 27th of November. You've got a Littman in. You've got Rui Costa, Bomb Pastor, Vincent Company with 81 pace, McManaman, Beasley. Some of these cards are actually getting some pretty sizable boosts. Like if we take a look at Wesley Schneider is one that I'm like, wow, okay, EA. You're giving him a pretty sizable boost. From his 91 rated, right here, we have 85 pace, 87 shooting, 93 passing. If we take a look at his 88 rated card he is going up like plus threes plus fours and some stat attributes off of his base hero card it is a sizable upgrade four pace three shooting and three passing four schneider three dribbling as well and five physical like that's a really really solid boost on uh his uefa hero card a lot of these other hero cards are getting pretty big boosts as well we're going higher rated too 90 rated for lisa razu um Tevez getting a 90 rated card. Viali looks absolutely insane. Even Alex Scott looks pretty solid as an 88 rated. So these cards are coming today in a pre-order pack for those who pre-ordered the game early enough. And for the exact drop time of this, it's going to be at 259 Pacific. I went all the way into the fine print, you know, like the click here, read the fine print for more details. We sifted through this here just a little bit ago to find this. UEFA Champions League hero items will be available from 2.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today on November 27th. If you're not in Pacific Standard Time, this is a little bit of a, um, I guess, way for, to think of it, right? So it's basically 3 p.m. Pacific, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 11 p.m. UK. Maybe Google it, whatever time zone you're in. But it is 3 p.m. PST. That is 11 p.m. It's almost actually, for a lot of you guys around the world, it's actually the 28th because it's late night tonight if you're in the UK. It's 11 p.m., almost turn of the new day for the 28th. But that's when this pack is going to be released. And in the way that they've done it in years past, you literally just get the pack all of a sudden in the store. It's just given out like that. It's just kind of there. So I would check your Ultimate Team accounts later this evening if the, those drop. Well, they should be dropping. And then we, uh, we'll probably open some of those packs tomorrow on Tuesday on the stream. That'll be a fun thing to do and see what people can get. I remember last year getting very lucky with the Rudy Voller. And I uh, hope I get lucky this year as well with one, one of these UEFA heroes. But I will say, a lot of people may be asking, like, Nate, is this going to impact the market a lot today? Well, actually, I think it's not. Because part of the whole reason with these hero cards dropping early is EA's trying to make it an incentive for you to want to pre-order the game in, in future years as well. Because, guys, these UEFA cards that are dropping today are not going to be in packs. They're not going to be in packs for a couple more weeks when we probably get, like, a UEFA Team of the Tournament type of promo in December. This is a set of packs being released to really just kind of reward people who bought the game early. And that's what EA want to do with this. But these cards are not going to be actually on the market for another two weeks. So if you're getting this pack today, you're going to have like a one of a kind item for the next two weeks before they get released in packs. I don't think it's going to cause a lot of panic. I mean, if I have to imagine who we're going to be packing a lot, who's who are we going to be seeing a lot from this pack since there's not that many heroes in it, right? Alex Scott's going to be pretty popular. Canu is going to be pretty packable from this i would also say risa uh from the pram berbatov the lower rated ones right rosiski is going to be in there a lot um who else there's an, oh demarcus beasley which i would be mad at getting him you would think that ramirez 87 rated would be very packable probably not though because he's going to be very expensive McManaman will probably be pretty expensive from what i've seen from other uh, hero packs this year probably really cost and limited like we mentioned it's going to be the lower rated cards that get packed the most right you know how this goes but the only ones that could maybe be impacted a little bit, like let's say for some reason like Viali has a pretty solid pack weight or something like that. Maybe his card, uh, his base hero drops a little bit, but his base hero is already super cheap at 36k. So I don't expect a ton of market impact today, especially because these cards are all untradeable. Now let's talk a little bit more about the market as we get into things today and as we get into really prices that are already starting to rise and maybe some investments that we can make as we expect a Monday market rise just about like we do every single week. Guys, I'm looking at some of these road to the knockouts. Now we talked about FC Pro Live cards. We talked about road to the knockouts 
And if you invested in any of those yesterday, you timed it very well. Cars like Karamoa going up 10,000 coins a piece. Kolomani, Willian. I think Deli Ali was like 50 something K yesterday. How much was he yesterday? I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere in the 50s. He was 60,000 coins last night, all the way up to 70,000 coins where he is. Now, a lot of those cards have started to rise. I'm looking at the road of the knockouts, especially. Look at DePaul yesterday, right? Content yesterday was kind of just okay. Right around the content drop, he was 129. He is now 150,000 coins. There are a lot of these live cards that are going up in value because people are investing as we head towards the end of Black Friday. Sokka last night was 300. He's now up to 337. Even some of the other road of the knockouts that are in packs, like Bruno Guimaraes was 117, 111, like all day yesterday. And now he's starting to rise up, 122,000 coins. You can see this, right? A lot of the graphs for out-of-pack special cards started to rise up as we expected. That's why I wanted to really talk about it a lot in yesterday's video. Is really good investment opportunity on some of these out-of-packs special cards, especially the ones that are live. And I think those prices should continue to rise during the week this week. I was really tempted to buy Koulibaly's yesterday when he dropped in price because of Mangala, right? He was down at 35K. We do have one more center back SBC that is leaked for Thunderstruck, and that is for Kuti Romero. So I'm holding off on buying Koulibaly for right now, just because once again, if we get another center back SBC, which is feels like we've been getting so many of them recently, but if we get another one, that could mean his price drops off a little bit but for the rest of this promo team guys just keep an eye on them because you know i'm gonna sell probably mane kolomani uh, we'll see how high they go today i will probably sell in the hype just because those are cards that could drop off a decent amount if they don't get upgrades so selling in the hype is the safe play daniel malin who i know a lot of you guys have invested in 23,000 coins this is literally like zero risk yeah he could go to 12k if he gets no upgrades today but like what do we buy i think we bought him for like 16k at that one time when he was super crazy low and he's 23,000 coins so those cards are live and they're active today a lot of the ones that are not active today like tovan the rest of the team they're going up people are investing because again the black friday craziness is starting to end people are looking to buy some cards for teams i think these guys will continue to go up and if i were you i would look at the cards that are in packs i know it seems like it's crazy like nate bruno fernandez is going to be in packs throughout the rest of this week do i really want to go buy this card for like under 120k to, to hopefully see him go to like 140 later on this week but i would absolutely that's exactly what i would tell you like this is a card that i think could go up 15 to 20k during this week if they're able to get the win i think they play galatasaray and if they win he's getting uh, he's getting a double upgrade potentially if they would clinch moving out of the group and also that second win bruno does not have any upgrades yet so i think he's a very popular one if you want to check the upgrade situation go and flip in over to dynamic players go to rttk let me just double check this on bruno yeah bruno is not upgraded yet and if they win I know they've got Bayern in their group, but you would expect them to make it out. I have to look at the group standings. But if they were to win this game against Galatasaray, that would also greatly improve their chances of getting out. I could see this card going up to 140k by the end of the week. I could see cards like Osiman. Osiman's matchup is not as favorable. They're playing Real Madrid. But um, this is a card that's down bad, right? He was 180k for most of the weekend right now. Still 190 there's potential there. So just keep a close eye on those, whether they're in packs, whether they're out of packs. And again, the other out of packs cards in the market, like some of the triple threat players, Grealish, that's the lowest that I've seen him. 120, very low. Tiago still 38,000 coins. Carvajal, Hall, 88K. A lot of these sorts of cards, I think, can rise up in value during the week this week as well. As uh, again, we turn the page from content being crazy and people spending a ton of coins on that sort of thing to people starting to buy cards for their team and again like i mentioned at the beginning of the video seems like we're going to be turning into more gameplay grind like today you think about it like okay a lot of you guys probably are hurting for fodder like i'm hurting for fodder a little bit right now yeah we have a little bit but i've been doing so many upgrade packs and grinding the 83 times 10s and all the sbcs that my club is pretty much washed right and how do we get fodder besides buying packs from the store you go and play games. And that's kind of what is probably going to help the market rise today, Monday into Tuesday into Wednesday, is the cup, is rivals, is foot champs, people going and playing the game to get the pack rewards. And that is gameplay demand, which means buying cards for teams. So that's where I'm thinking the market is headed on this game. I still have a lot of coins into uh, a lot of cards that I already mentioned, right? I still have my big expensive ones. Like I bought a Sokka for 300, still have some Chan. Uh, Silva, Colo, Mane, and Mane. One last thing I want to talk about are informs really quickly. Informs dropped off 
a lot yesterday. I believe all in forums were around 36k or something like that, 40,000 coins. They tanked yesterday. In forums absolutely got destroyed uh, because there were no inform requirements in the other SBCs that were dropped. This could be an investment opportunity here, guys. Um, they could go lower. But they also could go higher. I'm pretty sure the cheapest inform on the market right now is 30k, which is the lowest that they have been in a while. But it's because of the combination of lightning rounds, and I think there were no SBCs yesterday that required them. So you have a lot of people that are selling these cards off because they don't want to get stuck. Because informs at some point are going to go back down to being like 15,000 coins. But at least right now, they are still 29 or 30,000 a piece. They're still dropping as well. This could be a risky play. Uh, but it could be a play that ends up working out very well. If I were you, I would focus on the higher rated informs. We do have the Icon SBC that's refreshing later on this week. And that is one part of SBC content to me that looks a bit interesting. So I'm trying to pick up one or two of these for my transfer list. I'm not going to go all out or go all in. Again, I don't think we're getting a ton of new SBCs this week, guys. We already have so much. I can't see the SBC content bringing out a whole bunch of new things. It's kind of already here. Besides maybe a player SBC or two or maybe one or two other things that could be dropping, it's already all here. It's all just about what SBCs are people going to be doing this week and crafting and what, you know, that's going to make fodder go up. So there are a lot of like the 83 times 10. That's one of the best SBCs. It requires an inform. You could see informs rise for that. People crafting other big SBCs like the Mbappe requiring so many different informs and higher rated ones. So that's why I look at maybe the 86 rated informs that are about the same price as regular informs. Like, you know, I just looked at DACA. I look at Alaba. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to buy one of each of these and put on my transfer list for like 32K. Like, I'm not looking to make a ton of coins here. I'm just looking to save myself a few coins if they go up later on in the week. If those go to 40K again, I will gladly sell and I will take the money. But again, we still have lightning rounds that are going on. So those cards prices could drop down throughout the week until we maybe get a big refresh like the Icon SPC that does require a high rated squad and an inform. But informs are very low. So definitely keep an eye on that. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. I mean, we're looking forward to the hero packs today. Uh, if you're excited for it, comment down below which hero you want to pack the most. I would love to pack Tevez. Tevez would be sick. And obviously, Wesley Schneider would be pretty nasty as well. But, um, you know, I'm probably going to be packing like Berbatov, which I wouldn't be too mad with, but or Tricky Bees. But we'll have to see. But if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for Accountant. Peace.